Today, I'm going to be going over DMO Speech 2, which is the fastest AI text-to-speech that I've come across uh, recently, and it's developed by the same guy who created Style TTS 2. Uh, we'll take a listen to some of the demos real quick, and uh, let me generate some audio so that we can do that. So this is the reference text, and let's just take a listen to a few samples. This is a demo of DMO Speech 2, which is a faster TTS model capable of zero-shot voice cloning. I'll switch over to a different voice. This is a demo of DMO Speech 2, which is a faster TTS model capable of zero-shot voice cloning. And then we'll do one more. This is a demo of DMO Speech 2, which is a faster TTS model capable of zero-shot voice cloning. So there we go. Um, it is very, very fast. And the quality is better than Style TTS 2, in my opinion. I'm talking about the Style TTS 2 base model, not the Kokoro fine-tuned Style TTS 2. Um, but overall, it sounds very good. Um, it's very fast. And the architecture behind it, I believe, is based off of um, F5 TTS. So um, could be mistaken there a little bit. But this is the base repository. Um, if you want to take a look at the GitHub repo, uh, we're going to be setting up using a fork of the repository um, here that I made of DMO Speech 2 so that so that I can manage the version. And um, yeah, and if you're a member of the channel today, I'll be giving you access to this Gradio demo where you can try it out so that um, you kind of have it nice in an interface here. Uh, you can set up voices and stuff like that. So if you're a member of the channel, um, I've shared this Gradio interface inside of the members post area down here. So just head over to the members area to download that Gradio interface and you'll be able to use it um, inside of today's tutorial on that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show how you can get this all set up. And there's going to be a few prerequisites for this. Um, you're going to need UV Astral installed on your computer. And then an NVIDIA graphics card is highly recommended. So, oh, you'll also need Git installed on your computer. So if you go to UV, um, what you can do is go into um, here, the, the installation area. And let's, uh, I'll run through the installation with you guys here. So just copy this, go over into any folder. What we're going to do is just type in CMD in the address bar here. And then we'll just go ahead and copy and paste that into the window. So that's going to go ahead and get UV up and installed on your computer. UV is basically a Python package manager that handles everything um, that we need. So there we go. You should have that once it's done. And then we can close out of there. So that'll be UV. And then you also need Git. So Git will be located here. I uh, go to download for Windows, click here to download and just run through all of the default options there. So with Git and UV, you should be ready to follow along in today's tutorial um, and get everything up and going. So I like to split my windows. So we're going to do one side with Chrome and then the other side with a file explorer and um, just find any folder that you want to put it in. Uh, we're going to go into the address bar here type in CMD once again, and that's going to open up this terminal that will now split on the right hand side here. So we're going to clone the repository first. So do get clone. Um, it's going to clone DMO speech two, and then we're just going to need to CD uh, or change directory into that repository like so. And then what I want you guys to do is check out the repository at this certain hash. And so I'll put the hash down below in the description. Um, that is so that when you guys are seeing this in the future, if things has have changed, then you can just find this version of the library at the time that I published the video um, to help reduce any issues that might occur. So um, once again, it's going to be down below in the description. But once you have it, you can do git check out. We're going to put in that hash number and it's going to now switch here. So if I type in git branch, you'll see that it says head detached at this hash number. So let's type in clear or let's type in CLS, depending on what type of window you have open. And that'll clear this up here. 
And then all we need to do is create that Python environment by doing UV sync. So type in UV sync or copy and paste it into that CMO speech to directory and everything is going to download um, and get set up for you guys. So there are some big packages in there. So it may take a few minutes up to 15 to 20 minutes because a few gigabytes of things need to be downloaded. So depending on your internet speed, it can take a little bit of time to get this all up and going. All right, so that is all done. I'll type CLS enter one more time to get that um, out of the way. And then after the virtual environment has been set up, Lastly, all we need to do is just get the checkpoint files. So uh, we can go into Hugging Face and we can go to Files um, and download each individual file. So if you click on the download button, um, it'll bring you into whatever file explorer you're at. Go into DMO Speech 2, create a new folder, call it Checkpoints, make sure it's plural, and then go into here and save. And then we'll do the same thing as well with the four gigabyte file. Um, I already have them locally, so I am going to just copy and paste it. But yeah, you guys can just um, download them from the web and get it inside of this checkpoints folder. So I've got these two models in here. And yeah, these two models are all you're going to need for inference. So. I also have a function that allows you to automatically download it if you have the Gradio interface, but um, that's only if you're running it with that member's Gradio interface. Um, so everything should be good to go, should be set up. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just UV run generate audio just to make sure everything is working and um, we should be good to go. So go ahead, copy and paste that into the terminal window wait a few minutes it's going to load all of our models into our uh, cpu and gpu you can see that inside of my gpu it is taking up um, a decent amount of gpu memory and then it's also you know loading some things into memory and cpu so you'll get some of these windows here um, popping up and then and then yeah you should be able to run this I will change this up real quick just so you guys have an audio file. So give me a moment and we'll rerun that. And so if you successfully loaded everything and got a reference audio um, working, it's going to say press enter to generate audio. So all we need to do is press enter and it's going to generate speech. So once it's done generating speech, you'll get this outputted file inside of that same root folder called generated underscore audio. And let's take a listen. Kokoro is an open-weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. Despite its lightweight architecture, it delivers comparable quality to larger models while being significantly faster and more cost-efficient. With Apache-licensed weights, Kokoro can be deployed anywhere from production environments to personal projects. So, there it is. And, um, you know, we can keep generating audio here, but... I'm going to do control C, which is going to cancel out of this. I'll type CLS one more time to clear it. And that is going to be how you can use DMO speech uh, real quick. So if you want to know how to actually use it, um, you can go inside of the file here and look at how I've instantiated the, re, uh, the library and everything and how you could customize it to your own use case. If you want to use this generate underscore audio dot Python script with your own reference file, um, if you have this opened up in like, let's say notepad, these are the two lines you need to adjust. So let's say that we have a different uh, file, a different audio file in this root directory here. For example, let's say I have this two dot wave file. Um, I'm going to paste that into the root directory here. Um, I'll go back into the uh, notepad file here and I'm going to remove the reference audio that we're using right now. I'm going to say 2.wave and then I just need to transcribe whatever is inside of this wave file. So let's listen to it. Kokoro is an open weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. So I'm just going to put that text into um, the reference text area here. So just delete whatever is there. Make sure it's between two quotes and we'll paste it in there. And now we've got it set up to use a different voice. So we'll close out of that. Make sure you saved it 
and then we'll go back into the window here and then we'll go ahead and just run um, that same um, that same line so there you go it's loaded up we can even do the enter uh, to generate audio and here you can see it's generating now i also forgot to say that you can customize this for your own text um, all you would need to do is do a double dash type in text and then inside of here um we put between quotes uh whatever text you would like to generate so we can go ahead type that in there and it will go ahead and run through the entire inference process once again with your own custom speech so you could also do that to um, change kind of like reference audio or reference text too but um, you know it's easier to just do hard code that into the code here but yeah if you want to use it as a command line tool um, there are these parameters you can use in here uh, to get started with that too and you should be able to generate audio with that and then I also recommend that you go uh, you scroll a little bit down if you open up that generate underscore audio dot Python file I also recommend you go to the duration area here and just set duration to none so that it dynamically gets um, and estimates how long of an audio file to generate else it will generate 20 seconds um, all the time for your samples or for whatever text you want and we don't want that if you're doing your own custom text so that is pretty much how you can use it um, and like I said if you want to know how you can modify it a little bit all of what you need is inside of that Python script that is provided now if you have the Gradio interface uh, that I have for my members I'm gonna show how you can use that now in case that um, you just want to have a nice little interface that you can generate with so let's say that you have it downloaded um, I'll go back here so let's say you have the Gradio interface downloaded in the root directory of the folder that we just set up all you need to do is do uv run Gradio underscore interface dot py and that's going to launch a Gradio interface at the 7860 port on our computer so just give it a moment to boot up once it's loaded up we will be able to access it Oh, and there's actually one more thing that we need to do. Um, so we need to set up a voices folder if you're going to be using the Gradio interface. So in a file explorer um, or that same root directory, just right click new folder, set up voices and inside of voices. So double click into it. Let's create a new folder and let's call the speaker. Um, we're going to you can use any name for it, but we're just going to call it Kokoro. And then inside of here, you want to add a audio file. So I'm going to navigate back into the root directory, this 2.wav file. I'm going to copy, going to go into voices, go into Kokoro, right click paste. And now we have this wave file into here. You want to make sure that the name matches the folder that it's under. So also name this Kokoro. And then we're going to put in a text file that is also called Kokoro. And then once you have that, we need to now just transcribe this audio file into .txt. So double click into .txt. And we already know what it says. So Kokoro is an open weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. Uh, we can just now save this control S to save or file save, close out. And this is how it should be set up. So text file, wave file inside of a folder. All of them should be named the same inside of a folder called voices so we can now rerun that previous command just click up arrow on your keyboard to get to that other command uv run gradio interface.py and we will be able to launch it here so there we go success successfully launched so just do left control and then left click and that'll open it up inside of your um, whatever browser that you have so here we are here's that Gradio interface from earlier and yeah if you want to set up a hugging face token you can here this is to automatically download the models though this requires you to set up an account so if you know how to get a hugging face token you definitely can but I recommend that you download models as I showed earlier so you don't need to really set up an account so here we are we've got everything in here if you want to do more voices just set them up as we did previously um, but uh, yeah, we can now 
just go ahead and change some of these settings down here. There are a lot of them. I personally don't know exactly everything that they do, but in general, teacher steps, um, the more teacher steps that you have, maybe increases audio quality, uh, but also increases generation time. This DP softmax range, if you decrease it, you can make the model speak a little faster. If you increase it, it may speak a little slower. Temperature kind of changes how fast or slow it is. And then some of these other ones, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll just leave them at these values here. We'll click on load models. Uh, we can go into the terminal just to see what's going on here. And as you can see, we have this invalid credentials and authorization header because we don't have a hugging face token set, which is okay because we already have the models downloaded. So it's going to load them. And then we can just generate audio with that voice that we set up earlier. And there you can see generation time takes about 1.7 seconds on a cold start. If I regenerate, it's going to take about 0.7. So much, much faster. Like I said, we can decrease teacher steps down to something like eight. And we are going to um, almost have the generation time. So there you can see right there. So we can now take a listen. This is a demo of DMO Speech 2, which is a faster TTS model capable of zero shot voice cloning. And there we go. We got it all up and running um, inside of this Gradio interface. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Just a showcase of a newer text to speech um, model that came out. Um, it's not the best sounding in terms of quality, but the quality plus speed is going to make up for is going to make it useful for a lot of people out there. So thought I'd share this with you guys. But yeah, once again, if you're a member of the channel, very much like to appreciate you guys supporting me and I will um, see all of you guys in a future video. So see you guys.